Young defender, that's good work from Tom Cairn. He gets it forward for Muniz. Just on the halfway line, feeds it infield nicely for Bobby Decker dover -Ree. Can he pick out Harry Wilson? He does. Right-hand side, nice touch, and it's in. And it's 1-0 to Fulham. And that was a lovely goal from beginning to end. Lovely work from Tom Kearney initially, then Rodrigo Muniz. Bobby Decker dover -Ree looked up, he saw Harry Wilson in oceans of space. Had to get the pass right, though, and he got it perfect. Similar to uh, Pereira a couple of games ago, Harry Wilson didn't have to break stride. He uh, took it round the keeper or stepped inside the keeper. Lovely, the keeper really probably made it slightly easier for him, Jamie, if anything. But uh, it was a good move from Fulham, real class there from beginning to end. And Harry looking confident, he received it on his left foot. Made it look very easy, as I say, the keeper maybe showed himself short a little bit but uh, that's a lovely finish and good to see Fulham in front early in the game yeah that's the dream start it's exactly what we would have wanted you can hear the fans singing we're going to Wembley and I mean that would be lovely he picks up Balotore who's uh, in space into the box cross is deflected but it came off the crossbar it's a wicked deflection and it almost cost him switch it beat the keeper smacked the uh, face of the crossbar could easily have been 2 0. LDF gets it back for Merrick Rodak. Oh, he almost got caught there and he's only got it uh, barely out of the box. Caden Jackson's onto it and Merrick's had to make a save. It's going to be a corner to Ipswich. Oh, he can't be doing that. That's uh, it's the curse of a modern game for me. Every weekend you see it, Jamie, and again, just puts too much pressure on a keeper for me, passing the ball back to him and expecting him to deal with it with his feet, he took one touch to control it, he was quickly closed down and then made a hash of the clearance and Caden Jackson's got the shooting opportunity, Merrick redeemed himself with a good save he's done okay for himself as you say especially bouncing back Jim when you go into the lower leagues, places like Accrington, it's not always easy to get back but he's done it, now an Australian international yep, oh here we go oh it's a decent effort Andreas Pereira there with the uh, left footed shot from 30 yards or so, just trying to catch the keeper off his line. It's probably Decker Dover Reed who slid it through, I think. Well, he's not 30 yards, to be fair, he's probably just under 25, but uh, just took the one touch and then the left footed shot. Done ever so well, seems to be a very, very talented young coach. And uh, he's made an incredible start to this season in the championship, but uh, let's hope not so much in the Carabao Cup Calvin Bassey doing well, gets it forward Balotore with the ball out and it came back to Bassey, hit it with the outside of his left foot and uh, Christian Walton's got away with one there Jamie he's let that spin through his hands I think he hit the inside of the post Certainly that was hit the my woodland. fault, yep Bass Bassey just instinctively stuck out a left boot and the keeper really which was looking to play their way out, there's a nice turn from Sean Aluko Floats it down the uh, left-hand channel from their point of view. Well cut out by Balatori. Forward ball finds Harry Wilson carrying it well into the Ipswich half to Pereira. Edge of the penalty area, low ball in, it's 2-0. And it's Rodrigo Munez. The flag, I think, is staying down. I can't see the assistant referee from here, but uh, certainly looks like it's a, it's a goal in front of the Fulham fans, and it's 2-0. They're over on the far side, but uh, that end of the ground in the top tier, and Rodrigo Muniz has made it 2-0 to Fulham. It's a nice move. Harry Wilson did well, and a low ball in from Pereira. Didn't look there quite enough on it. There was plenty of defenders for me that uh, could have dealt with that much better than they did. Might have come off one of them in the end, but Rodrigo it Muniz... Burgess. Did it come off Cameron Burgess? Yeah. Just the slightest of touches, and it uh, fell conveniently into the path of Rodrigo Muniz who taken up a dangerous position at the back post. And a big smile on his face as he gratefully rammed it low into the net to give Fulham that uh, two-goal differential. And hopefully uh, control of the game now. Not so long ago that you just don't see him turning this one around now. They've been second best, Jim, haven't they? Yeah. Oh, good work from Raul Jimenez to touch it into the path of Bobby Decker dover -Reed. The ball across the edge of the box. There it is. Tom Kearney, the Fulham captain, with that sweet left foot. 
once it was played across square, Jamie, you know where that's going to end up. You don't, uh, there's no one really you would like to see running onto that any more than Tom Kearney. It's 3 0 to Fulham. And it's uh, the third Fulham player with his first goal of the season. Nice to see three new names on the list of Fulham goal scorers. The Ipswich fans are making their way towards the exit because we've, uh, or I certainly have felt and said a couple of times already, if we were to get a third goal, surely that would be good enough and that would be a game set and match. And I stand by that. And Fulham fans enjoying it now, away on the far side. Corner coming in, got to defend this, it's headed. Oh, it's headed straight past Merrick Rodak and it's in. I think it's the big Indonesian substitute. Elkin Baggett, six foot four. I thought when he came on, you've got to uh, bear that in mind, he could be an aerial threat. I think it was him who got his head on it. I wasn't 100% sure whether it was going inside the far post or uh, wide at a goal. It seemed to go straight through Marek Rodak. Headed down, plenty of power on it. Jamie, it was, it's difficult to say from where we are without seeing a conclusive replay, but did Marek? Well, he plays it short, in fact. Floated into the box. Falls through a Wobi, pulls back. Bobby Decker Dover Reed, it's pushed away and then turned away. In the end, I think it was Jack Taylor who got it clear for a throw into Fulham far side. Almost nicked another goal. Nice little move. Alex Awobi touching it down. Bobby Decker Dover Reed with a first time shot on the volley. Christian Walton making a decent save and then Harry Clark turning it out of play. Throw into Fulham.